are there any DAOs that are similar to what MBU is doing? Yeah, so, so not exactly. There are DAOs that give you grants. So the Web3 Foundation is, 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 is like that. It's not really a DAO because it's, it's, the, it has certain technical authorities that look through products, but they go through a tremendous amount of, of due diligence on the project, you know, who they, the founders are, the team, do they have the expertise, the ability to execute? But there are DAOs, you know, there's Aragon, there's, uh, there's uh, Gitcoin. They will give funds to people who are thinking, but this, this doesn't solve the accountability issue. Does it say like once you've given the funds, launch pads are similar, Kickstarter is similar. You've given funds. How do you ensure that once someone receives funds, they continue to deliver? You don't have anything to say but their word. And that's not what Web3 is about, it's decentralized trust. So now give me a way to not need to trust you to fund you. And we yeah. do that by allowing you to vote on the progress. Mm. And notice that in the event that something's complete, projects fail all the time. We accept that. Projects change. We also accept that. So in the event that shop I was uh, I was talking about, Ray, you can be opening up a shop and then something completely out of your hands. A force majeure event comes out. COVID hits. Mm. The government tells you, you have to shut. It's out of your hands, but the project will fail. Now I as a contributor or Tim as a contributor can say, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to raise a vote of no confidence because I don't think Ray's project is going to succeed. And if that vote passes, then the remainder of the locked funds go back to the original contributors. That's yeah. where we add protection. Like you always yeah. have a say on, actually, I want my funds back because you're not yeah. actually delivering on what you promised. That is, that's cool, man. I mean, good yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. One problem you see with the NFT projects is uh, everyone wants to, you know, claims... They don't want to be doxxed. Some some people there yeah. is why that, but whereas some may have legitimate reasons, others yeah. doing it just to hide, maybe to commit. <clears throat> um, will Imbu know the identity of projects for? Yeah, absolutely. So okay. the doxing, the the doxing is, <clears throat> it's a a band aid, mm -hmm. right? People are like, we're going to dox ourselves so you can trust us. Right. That doesn't really solve the accountability issue. What's yeah. to stop you not delivering? Like maybe you you have the best intentions, but you are unfortunately incompetent, and you you make some decisions with the funds that you have that you know uh, I don't agree with, and it's completely different what, to what you promised. So doxing itself is just a band aid to solve the underlying problem of having a non devs just disappearing with the money, right? Um, uh, so we need better. We need a better way. Say it's not us. That's not how we build a safer Web three by doxing people. That's just mm. not it. However, if you're saying, "Look, I'm going to be anonymous, but I want a very, very small percentage up front, and I'm going to continually deliver," and then you vote on the progress, then it doesn't matter who you are, right. as long as I vote on your progress. Mm -hmm. so, <clears throat> so yeah, so there, it is absolutely a, a really needed problem in, uh, that needs fixing, and that's the only way we move towards mass adoption. Otherwise, right. how do you convince someone who's a farmer who has no interest in Web3? How do you convince them to jump into this, this bandwagon? And if you can't convince them this is going to improve on their life or give them better access to things that they don't have, you're not going to be able to convince right. them to join. Yep. It does help with the trust big time. Um, I saw when we were talking, uh, when we first got on about uh, Ethereum and how they move things back, you're laughing. I'm always laughing about that stuff too. But is there a reason, obviously, that you chose Polkadot over yes. on Ethereum? What, what yeah, so so um, uh, apart from the interoperability, that was the key thing. Being able to communicate is, is, is really a game changer. But when it comes to upgradability, so if you deploy something to Ethereum, uh, most often, more often than not, like that's not really the case anymore, but, but almost the majority of these tutorials that you see when people are starting off, they, they're set in code. So... It's immutable and you can't upgrade to it. And but but if you look at your day-to-day -day life in Web2, you know, your phone updates itself, the apps update itself. You need to be able to constantly be updating to keep innovating. You know, right? Just imagine if you're like, by the way, I'm gonna give you the phone that you had 10 years ago. That's the only phone you're gonna have for life. Right? It just doesn't work. That's not how software works. And um, so that's another reason why we chose Polkadot. The Lego, the modularity, allows us to, to build what we need, specifically to what we need, and bring in different um, uh, different functionality, but also allow us to upgrade through on-chain governance as well. So, for example, what if you 
don't have the expertise to vote on something, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't have the expertise to actually say this is done or not. So I'm going to delegate my vote to maybe a council member or a third party that I was bringing in to, to audit parts of the code, right? I'm going to say, look, I don't, I, I have a say in this. I have funds, I have money at risk, but I don't really know if you've actually done what you did. So I'm going to delegate my vote to this other third party. Now, as a collection of the DAO, we're going to give it to the, this authority to say, yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see that they've done it or I'm, I'm auditing a farm. For example, I can see, yep, they farmed whatever they need to do. They, I can see that they set up the, the farm properly. I tested the soil, for example, and everything is on schedule. That delegation, that change in, in how governance is made on chain, it's not as easily done in Ethereum. That's another reason why we chose Polkadot. Hmm.